everybody! Today I'm going to make really healthy and delicious drink. Only a few ingredients. You can eat it as breakfast or snack. It's called Do You. It's soy milk. It has nothing to do with cow milk. Totally vegetarian drink. I learned this recipe from one of my friends who is living in New York City. One day I went to her house and then she made this for breakfast. And she told me she's eating this as a breakfast for decades. She never gains weight, she never loses weight. Her body is like hourglass. She's a little older than me and pretty. If you are interested in healthy and delicious food, this is for you. Let's start. We need soybeans. When I made doenjang, Korean fermented bean paste, I use the same beans. One cup is a 187 grams. It's one cup. If you find some dead beans, brownish beans, pick it out. Wash it this way. And put it in a large bowl. And soak. These dried soybeans are really hard. We need to soak this in cold water overnight. Last night I soaked this already. Same amount, one cup, one cup. This guy is soaked already. And this is just now I'm start soaking. You see? How different this, isn't it? You can pick out some dead beans. Still, when this guy is small, I couldn't recognize. So I'll find it this way. These soybeans are very nicely soaked. I like to remove all the skins. You can remove the skins like this. Yeah? It takes too long. So I'm going to use my hand and scrub this. And here. Whatever method you use, just that you give them a little, little damage, but not too much. Don't crush everything. About one minute, let's scrub this guy. And then pour water here. You will see all the bean skins are floating to the surface. Beans, bean skins. And I'm going to use this water again to save my water. Come back again. Pour this. So when you scrub this, you feel that kind of sound is more crispy, crunchy sound, and also not slippery. This water again. Now it's really clean. I like it. I'm going to rinse this, last rinse, and strain. Nice. These are raw beans. We need to cook these guys. Two, so around two and a half. Add two cups of water. Two cups. And close. And let's boil. Over medium high heat, 15 minutes. No more than 15 minutes. No less than 15 minutes. Why? Because if we cook too long, this uh, smells like uh, meju. Smells like bean paste smell, kind of, you know, so you are not going to like that flavor. If beans are not cooked properly and also not tasty, you can use the high heat over, over medium high heat for 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, I don't want to miss the time. It's a bubbling. So all beans are now vigorously boiling. So I'm going to half a cup. 
15 minutes passed, all the beans are well cooked. Oh, wow. Beans skins are all on the top and center. You see? Not much water. When you boil the beans, always lots of bubbles coming up. So remove these skins and let's strain. Tasty, sweet. And then we are, we are going to use one cup. One cup for two servings. So we need a blend. Let's add a blend. We still have one and a half cups left over. I'm going to keep in the freezer. And then tomorrow morning I can make it. I'm going to freeze this guy. My friend, she's making it for one week amount. And then uh, she just keep in the freezer. Each freezer bags for one week. Seven, seven bags she makes like this. I like to make it more nutty, nutty flavor. So I'm going to add the cashew. So this is roasted cashew, of course. Roasted cashew, but unsalted. Salt. You can add later. You guys can use almond or any walnuts and any, any nuts to so make it tasty and more nutty. Toasted sesame seeds are always available at home. So I will just add toasted sesame seeds a little bit. And this guy, cashew. Cashew good for your body also. So quarter cup. Quarter cup, but a little kind of generosity. Have this. One tablespoon. This is toasted sesame seeds, very nutty. Two cups, very cold water. After blending all this, I will add one more cup later because my blender is not too big. So this is two cups of water and, and turn on. I blend two minutes, so you can you can check out the, how this is creamy. I what I want is very creamy and soft, so that when you swallow, no problem, easily you can swallow, <laughs> right? And then I will just add one cup of water and one teaspoon salt. Transfer to your cup. So exactly two large cups. This looks like a latte. Don't skip the sesame seeds because the sesame seeds smells really, really great. Really tasty. Mmm. I love it. You can drink with a straw. Mm. Really delicious. It can be a good breakfast. I love to add a little salt here because it makes it so enhanced the taste. Nutty, savory, and delicious. Whenever I make the recipe, decide to which video I choose. Last time I made you know, pork. This time maybe I should make some vegetable. And then always I like to make it you know, more diverse. But this time I was thinking about one of my readers. My readers recently, she just sent me an email and very, very touching story. She's a cancer survivor. While she has a cancer treatment and she lost all appetite and the doctor was worried, you got to eat something, you got to eat something. Uh, otherwise, you, can't, uh, you cannot survive. But she lost all appetite. 
But one day, she found that you know, on the internet, my recipe. She just started making my one recipe, and then she could eat. And then later, she decided, OK, I'm going to make the everyday one recipe from Mangchi recipe. Yesterday, she made this recipe. Today is a different recipe. And she keep making. Her appetite came back. And then she gained weight a little. And then she went to the hospital. Doctor was surprised. What made you? You know, what made you uh, gain a little weight? She made her doctor so happy. And then she recovered from treatment very quickly. And then she could go back to work. And then now she's so happy, and she really gave me some thank you message. And when I read this, I was so touched. Probably she's watching this video now. When I make this video, I thought about you. If you are right next to me, I like to make this for you. And then this is for you, and then you can learn from me this. But we are living in different countries, so you can learn from this, and then keep drinking every morning this. Okay, I hope that you get better soon. Today, we made to you Korean style soy milk. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.